You're watching DD India News Hour. I'm Sakal Bhatt. Well, India will soon have its foundational models in a few months with the best algorithmic efficiency and enhanced quality of data sets. India's Minister of Electronics and IT, Ashnavi Vaishnav, announced that the government has decided to build a domestic large language model of its own as part of Rs. 10,370 crore India AI mission. Minister Vaishnav also announced the establishment of an AI safety institute. Well, India AI mission is being implemented through seven pillars. We have a detailed report which explains this. India is all set to take a major leap in artificial intelligence by developing its own large language model, LLM. The country's AI model is currently under development with six major developers working on it. The government expects the first versions to be ready within 10 months. We are calling for proposals to develop our own foundational model where the Indian context, the Indian languages, the culture of our country, where the biases can be removed, where the data set is basically for our country, of our country, for our citizens, that process will start today. So let's understand India's AI model. Backed by high-end common computing facility, the India AI mission is now closer to customizing indigenous AI solutions for the Indian context using Indian languages. 18 citizen-centric applications pertaining to agriculture sector, learning disability and climate change to be part of this AI model. The AI model is beginning with the computation facility of roughly 10,000 GPUs. Soon, the remaining 8,693 GPUs will be added. Users to get it for less than 100 rupees per GPU after subsidizing 40% of the cost compared to global models costing $2.5 to $3 per hour usage. The attractive half yearly and annual plans will further make it more affordable. It is about nine times of what open source model DeepSeek has and about two-thirds of what ChatGPT has. Safety and ethical deployment of AI model remains top priority. India is establishing an AI safety institute adopting a techno-legal approach. AI safety through real-time detection tools, deepfake mitigation, and robust AI risk management strategies. We have now 15,000 high-end GPUs. The ChatGPT version 4 was trained on about 25,000 GPUs. So, this gives us a huge compute facility, very robust compute facility, something which will really give the boost to our ecosystem, to our startups, to our researchers, to our academia for creating AI applications, models, distillation processes, training processes and creating new algorithms. China's DeepSeek recently rolled out a free AI assistant that it says uses lower cost chips and less data. What DeepSeek has done is kind of like contributing to the, the world's public good. But on the other hand, you know, there is always um, kind of like a hidden worry uh, with open source models because potentially they could fall into the hands of um, bad actors. Stanford ranks India among the top nations in AI education with 240 universities offering AI courses and 100 universities equipped with 5G labs. With inputs from Amrit Pal Singh, Fuzel Ahmed reports for DD India. Tanmoy Chakarvarthi, Associate Professor, Department of Electrical Engineering and School of Artificial Intelligence from IIT Delhi, joining us. And very glad to also have Professor M.K. Datta. He is a Dean with Amity Center for Artificial Intelligence uh, from NOIDA. Uh, distinguished panel of artificial intelligence. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Uh, Professor Tanmay, I would like to start with you with this uh, sort of robust and high-end common computing facility in place. India seems to be all set to launch its own safe and secure, quote-unquote, made in India, indigenous AI model. And we are also uh, pitching a lot on the affordable cost that it's going to incur. Uh, to begin with, run us through the salient features of AI mission. And basically, if you could just break it uh, this further, break it further for the common man to understand. What are we looking at? Yeah, so first of all, thanks, thanks very much for inviting me. 
I think I'm super excited today to uh, I can see to that <laughs> to, to to hear the news. I mean, I've been waiting for last I mean, like last one year to 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 hear this news. So I think this is this is really really important for a country like India, which contributes a lot to the global AI, right? In terms of data set, in terms of manpower, right? And the kind of staff that we have, uh, I mean, who are trained in AI business. So I think this is a really welcome uh, uh, initiative and uh, being a you know, hardcore large language model researcher, generative AI researcher, I would, be a pa- I would love to be a part of this initiative. Mm-hmm. So, you know, first of all, you know, if you look at the, uh, the announcements, right, I think the major announcement, uh, of course, the GPUs that are, that are being procured for this specific mission and, you know, the goal to encompass all 22 languages along with dialects. Right. Remember, this is the this is going to be the major challenge for India-centric large language model to encompass, you know, d- such a diverse language uh, groups, dialects, and you know, and this, uh, such a huge cultural diversity. If you look at, let's say, models like ChatGPT or even even DeepSeek, right? Uh, you know, DeepSeek has a lot of uh, Chinese cultural bias, whereas you know, models like ChatGPT has bias towards the Western country. Hmm. I would really like to develop, you know, I would like India to develop a model which would be purely India-centric, you know, which, which will capture diversity, languages, and, you know, that would help uh, people like farmers, like laborers who don't have, you know, really access to smart devices, right? Okay. So, I think this is really, uh, really, really exciting. And I also feel that, you know, the... The area where India actually, India has expertise is essentially to develop economical models. Okay. Models with lower budget, models with lower resources, right? We have seen, you know, our famous Chandrayaan and uh, Mangalyaan mission, right? The amount of budget that was required for, for, for those missions. And I, so I specifically work in uh, designing smaller and smaller language models. And I feel that this is something that India should think of, right? Uh, uh, making them cheaper and make a set, a uh, kind of a goal set for other countries to see that, you know, even with a lower budget of what DeepSeek can, De- DeepSeek essentially use to right. b- build their model, even lower than that, we can, we should be able to, you know, we should be able, okay. able to build let, our model. Okay, let Professor Tata elaborate on this affordability uh, uh, angle as compared to global models, Professor Tata, which are costing around 2.5 to 3 dollars per hour usage. India's AI model uh, is expected to cost less uh, than 100 rupees per hour, if I'm not wrong. So we're looking at more cost effective and also 40% government subsidy. Explain this to us. Okay, so uh, first of all, um, great to have you. I mean, I'm very excited to be in this panel. Pleasure uh, interestingly, you see the announcement, yeah. announcement that has come up uh, today from our Honorable Minister is also, as my panelists say, that I was also waiting for that for long. You see, when I talk about AI, you there are three or four important verticals. Two of them, which are major, are, you see, data computing, compute facility, and structured data. Of course, our country has also made some, you know, structured data mission in which we are working. So today, what, you, what uh, you know, the announcement has come up from the government that uh, at a, such a low cost, I think 100 rupees, less than 100 rupees, what is the commitment made? That actually leverages, you know, that actually empowers the younger people, the startups, and the futuristic. You see, today I'm a university professor, so I deal with young minds every day. Hmm. These students, our young students, you know, they come with super brilliant ideas. Now, you know, to convert their ideas into workable models, you know, Gen AI space requires a lot of training, com- uh, you know, uh, training compute cost. So today's announcement must be, you know, have uh, spread a joy of happiness across um, the country, especially among the youth, hmm. because, because you see, um, you know, the youth and the sorry, the U.S. and the, and the other companies were charging like let's say some five dollars per hour right. or even. So our young, our younger students are deprived of it. See that uh, you know, I'm not exaggerate, but the deep seek model which works on reinforcement learning, which is making a lot of noise in the current times. You see, I saw papers from Indians who had, uh, you know, like uh, they had proposed the same concept, maybe one year from now or maybe one and a half years back. Okay. But most people did not have that much of compute to do that. And this this uh, announcement, and if it, you know, realizes, you will see many more deep seeks and other kind of things that comes out originally from India with Indianized versions. And that's what is super exciting for me. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
excitement is understandable, but if you could also, uh, Tanmay, Professor Tanmay, foundational models in the Indian context. Uh, we, we heard uh, Minister Vaishnav, uh, we're looking at Indian languages and this is going to be a very own Indian thing. Uh, but uh, broadly speaking, how is this going to really aid researchers, students, uh, people at large for its uh, low cost, fast computing and prop results orientation? Yeah, I mean, if, I, if it, it, it will have impact on, uh, you know, a, a, across all the societies, yeah, education, healthcare, agriculture, right, pharmaceutical, other other places. For example, let's say if you take education, for example, right, you can use uh, foundational models to build your own technology. Let's say, for example, you want to uh, develop a course with interactive platform where you, you, you ask your students to first interact with the foundational model to understand the prerequisites for the course. And then you, you basically come in and teach the advanced part, right? Uh, let's say, uh, you know, you, 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 all, you can also use, let's say, these foundation models for, for uh, as I mentioned earlier, right? Let's say for agricultural purposes. Farmers, right? Farmers, you know, they actually don't know all these technologies. But think of a farmer having a, a you know, telephone and, you know, an app which will speak in, in his or her language. Right. Right? And, and, and he essentially inquires and... You know, immediately get responses. Again, uh, the contextually Indian context, right? That would be great. Now, think of again rural places, uh, places where I always think of you know uh, people in the rural places who don't have access to such a high-end technologies, right? I think if we build such kind of technologies, I mean, again, remember one thing: uh, all of us are excited, but we we AI researchers in India. We actually have a lot of responsibilities. Absolutely. Right? A lot, lot of responsibility. They say with power <laughs> comes responsibility. Yes, exactly. And with this sort of thing that's going to empower many exactly. of us and each one of us, uh, their uh, deep seek on Indian servers after security protocol checks, the whole security angle to it. Uh, Professor Datta, your take on it, and then Tanmoy can also uh, respond to that very quickly. Uh, I mean, you see the security threats that's coming up with the AI pipeline, right? You know, there are a lot of things, adversarial attacks, single point, point attacks, there's so many things that have come up. I mean, you can't ignore so that uh, ethics in AI, you know, uh, in my in our university in Amity Center for Artificial Intelligence, we have floated a course on ethics on AI. So that's what, how the young people have to understand, unless and until we maintain the ethics and, you know, uh, ensure that uh, there is adequate security and uh, protection of personal privacy, etc. I mean... We definitely need that. And uh, also, I mean, one year back when GPAI under our Honorable Prime Minister Modi, uh, the, I mean, there was a lot of discussion among 22 countries mm. that we are, we are, we are in, uh, going ahead with that. And I'm sure um, that uh, security issues, you know, a lot of things have come up in the pipeline. Like, you know, if I can, let's say, I get hold of a chatbot of a company and I start uh, making it abuse others. Yeah. So this kind of you know, security, <laughs> the practical security remains. But then at the same time, when you march ahead in this wonderful journey of artificial intelligence, we look forward to sustainable solutions and people joining hands in okay. making things. Okay. Professor Tonma, your take? Protocols? Security. Yeah, I mean, this is exactly I uh, I wanted to see in my last comment that when I said responsibility, I think it is very important that whenever we launch such a technology, people will start misusing it. And this is human nature, hmm. right? In the past, also, we have seen many such foundational models developed by uh, Facebook and other big companies, those got shut down because of this misuse, right? We should be super, super careful about how we make this thing robust, how the, uh, how the model should be robust, how, I mean, uh, I mean, we should make this thing so, so robust that, you know, it's, so there's a terminology in foundational models called jailbreaking, right? Okay. We try to jailbreak the model so that the model will start producing, uh, you know, abusive content, misinformation, hate speech, deep fake, Right, what not, right? So uh, you know the guardrail, and when you know the, the 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 term is called guardrail. So you essentially think of proper guardrail, so that you know the jailbreak I and mean, whatever jailbreak technologies that people apply, people should definitely apply for sure. The model should be able to tolerate, right, and resp and respond in an appropriate way. I mean, if you look at deep deep seek, it is. I think this is a super model in terms of uh, uh, you know the jailbreaking because uh, it doesn't respond to any. A wrong kind of uh, prompt that you write, right? So I think we should also be careful about this. It is very All right. Important. So it, it, one thing is very loud and clear. Like it's like a writing on the wall that uh, India is uh, actually moving on uh, in a mission mode in the artificial intelligence uh, 
uh, mission uh, that we have just launched today formally. Uh, thank you very much, uh, both of you, Tanma Chakravarti and uh, Professor M K Datta, for explaining this in detail in a very short span of time. Thank you.